Yo, what's good guys? This is Theo here. Real quick video. Um, not using my mic, but just wanted to make this real quick. I want to explain to you guys um, how set timeout works in JavaScript. Um, or actually, we'll, we'll do set interval first. Um, and then I'll make one with set timeout. So obviously, this is a very simple concept. But uh, I think what a lot of people don't realize is that uh, you can store your timeout or your interval function in a variable and that acts as a handle. Then there's a native JavaScript function called clear interval. And if you pass that the handle, it'll stop. So let me sort of explain what I mean here. We can have this function, you know, set interval. And what, what do we pass it? We pass it a function and we pass it a time. So this is just a function. Okay. And uh, the next parameter is going to be a time. So we want this to run every 500 seconds. And so now what we need to actually do is, is, is create a function inside of here. So we're just wanting to log out hello world. And now you can sort of see it execute. It's going to keep running every half a second. So that's great and all, but how do you stop that? You can't really stop it. So we can uh, declare a variable here called handle. It's still going to run. But now if we call clear interval, you know, we can pass it like that and nothing's happening. But the minute we pass in handle here, it's stopped. So very cool, uh, very simple. And let me just explain set interval as well, or set timeout. So here we have this handle and we say set timeout. Okay. And we want this to run this handle, right? Um, so we want it to run five times less than four, I plus plus. And uh, we're gonna just call, we're gonna call handle. So here it is running. Uh, let me see if I can get this to work. Handle is not, yeah, handle isn't actually a function. So let me see if we can do this. Handle. So yeah, it's running. So I think set interval is a better example, but right, so you can do the same thing. So here it's gonna log you know, uh, set timeout, you know, uh, you know, four of our i equals zero, i is less than 100, i plus plus, and then console.log i, let me just bring that to 10, make it a little bit easier, right? So here it is, obviously, you know, set timeout doesn't have the same effect, but you can do clear timeout, and then you can pass that handle, and there you go. So now it's not, nothing's going to be ex executed after this asynchronous code. One more time, just to sort of understand how it's working. Um, all it's doing behind the scenes is it's <clears throat> it's almost doing like a thread dot sleep, like you'd see in Java, for a certain amount of seconds. You know, one, two, then it's executing your function. So that's what they mean by asynchronous code or sim simulating asynchronous code. You're passing it an interval. Okay, so you're passing it this function. So we could actually, we could create this function above or below because of voice to say hello. <laughs> we could just say cost log hello. And um, so we're gonna pass it say hello in the next argument that we want. So here you can sort of see it's running forever because we haven't given it a time and eventually it's gonna break. But if we give it, uh, instead of we give it a time of, you know, 10 seconds. Now what we're going to see is it's not actually going to run until after 10 seconds. So let's sort of see if it actually hits after 10 seconds. Do, 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 do. There it is. Okay. And again, like I've said before, you can declare this handle variable and we can go ahead and clear this interval. Let's let it run one time and then we'll clear it. So it won't hit a second time. Just sort of breaking down. Obviously, yeah, guys, these are simple concepts, but it's just sort of like caveats, the inner workings of JavaScript that I would say use every day. So here we, we no longer are able to execute this code or it's not going to run. Very quick video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys in the next video. Take care.